I like hot sauce on my chicken. I put hot sauce on my titties. <laughs> Turn on the radio, and the DJ song was on. And the Jay-Z song was on. And the Jay-Z song was on. Wait, so I put my hands up to play my song. The butterflies fly away. Not in my head like, yeah. Ah! Hello, my name's Chris Tooth, and today we're going to be looking at the Lamborghini Urus. This is the same type of groundbreaking car that any Lamborghini is. The extreme proportions, the pure Lamborghini design, and the outstanding performance make it absolutely unique. So for $110,000, we're going to be showing you just what you get. So if we get down low here with the car, we can take a look at the grill. It's going to be a uh, wide honeycomb design, and we're going to have some fanning out towards the edges here. A very lovely and uh, intricate design Lamborghini provided. If we take up a look a little higher, we've got we get the Lamborghini badge, uh, followed with the classic design of a Lamborghini hood. Really makes it shout, "Hey, I'm a Lamborghini!" You know what I mean? And uh, Right here we got the, the front sensor, you know, so you don't run anything over if you're going below uh, 20 miles per hour. And if we get up here, the headlights, fully halogen and LED stripped. Now let's walk around the side. Here on the side of the Urus, we've got a few designs that uh, stand out when you look at it. If you look at it from a distance, you can see that it's it's almost you know lower than than most SUVs or luxury SUVs that you see come out nowadays uh, that's because if we take a look at the wheel well the wheels are are nearly you know we, we've only got a one or two inch gap between the wheel and the wheel well itself giving it a low sporty and dramatic look that Lamborghinis are used to We've got the side markers here on the side mirrors. Uh, they're uh, in sync with the back and front hazards and blinkers. We've got a little side grill here with a Italian badge on it. And we've got the doors and that, that'll, that'll be just about everything for the side. The Urus is gonna come with 21 inch wheels and there are advanced packages that offer a 23 inch wheel size which is what's currently installed in this Urus we have today. Uh, the wheels sit on customizable air suspension in case you're going to go off-roading or need to, a little more lift to get over that speed bump. That's going to be really helpful and going to be really comfortable for any kind of ride that you're trying to go on. Now let's walk around back. Here at the back of the Urus, we've got some key design features. We've got an airway coming from the back of the rear, uh, rear wheel well that exits out through the back here. We've got the lights, which are a long line of LEDs that extend out onto the trunk. And most importantly, in my opinion, we have the quad exhaust. 
They're going to be dual exhausts on each side, and they really give the car a roar, which you will be hearing later. On this on this model, we have uh, still have the dealer plates on it, which you can expect to find in the city since the car is so new. Now let's put the trunk. The Urus can hold up to 90 pounds of any cargo that you want to throw in it. It's going to have safety plastics uh, that come in the same color that your car is painted. And it's going to have nice uh, interiors, you know, to cushion whatever or whoever you need to put back here. Alrighty. Let's move up to the hood. He's helped you in your home. Tell me, Alan, what are you going to make? Well, Chef, I'm going to make Shepherd's Pie using only organic ingredients. You oh. stupid f***ing idiot! You forgot to pack the f***ing salt in! Now, the angriest chef on TV is back. You call that pasta, you stupid f***ing c***! You're out of mushrooms, we'll f***ing go get some more! This time, he's helping Los Santos local food stands with their businesses. Oh, come on, you got to be f***ing kidding. Catch the all-new season of Bastard Chef, Wednesdays at 9, only on CNT. Alrighty, let's take a look under this hood. Now Lamborghini is promising 650 horsepower out of this twin turbo 4 liter V8. Now if we take a look in here, we've got some pretty, pretty spectacular details. We've got the main engine cover, uh, the block cover. It's going to be nice and marked up with Lamborghini decals as well as a little manufacturing badge. If I walk around to this side, you can take a peek at some of the, uh, some of, uh, the action over here um, and some of the action over there and and that's that's going to be your engine now let's let's get behind this car and hear how this 4 liter V8 twin turbocharged engine really sounds Here in the back seat, we get to experience many of the features offered in the front. Let's start with the seating. We've got some durable, tough, leather stitched seats that are a little tough but sturdy enough to keep you in one place when the driver decides to step on it. The doors are going to offer all the normal capabilities, window, lock unlock, everything you'd expect. On the side of the seat here, we have full seat adjustability to make sure that you're comfortable and staying in one place. In the middle here, we also have some additional seat settings, such as warmers and whatnot. Let's take a look at the front. Here in the passenger seat, we get all the features offered in the back, plus, of course, access to the console, the glove box, which has a beautiful Lamborghini badge right above it. We've got some nice dash stitching uh, airbags up front at the da dash there, another AC vent, uh, and you know, everything you'd expect in a car such as this. Now let's take a look at the driver's seat. Here in the driver's seat, we get to experience a little bit more. On the main console, you see that there's two screens. One is more for the driving information as well as the GPS. The other one's more focused for climate control and other features like that, as well as the radio. Right under that second screen, we can see that we have the big red button, which is going to be the launch control button. We also have very odd shifters, uh, almost like plane accelerators. Um, very odd feature that Lamborghini decided to throw in there, but it makes this car very unique. If we move on over to the steering wheel, we have all the features you'd expect. Cruise control, wipers, blinkers, etc. We also have typical buttons in most modern day cars, which include skip track, all the radio controls, 
uh, as well as some navigation controls on the GPS. On the steering wheel, more importantly, we have the paddle shifters, which are going to be these long paddle shifters that are connected with the dual clutch system in the transmission that really make this, this car a breeze and a fun time to drive. All right, boys and girls, that's enough talking. Let's get in this car and see how it actually does. Wait, you forgot me. Oh my god. Alrighty, well, first thing to note when you're driving this car is the impressive acceleration. You start flooring it and take a look. We're already going 80. And that was just, you know, a second or two of, of putting that pedal down. I think that's uh, the staple of this car as an SUV. It's, it's an SUV that really takes off. As we're exiting the highway here, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a couple revs, let you hear what this engine's all about. Do a little Gotta risky pass here. But listen to that engine beer. and listen to that twin turbo engine really purring. Those blow off valves are not afraid to start blowing in your face, if you know what I'm saying. This car is aggressive and has an aggressive handling handling line when you're oh. 